June 30th, 1908. The remote Siberian wilderness near the Podkamanaya Tunguska River was jolted awake. At around 7.15 a.m., a massive fireball tore through the sky. Witnesses miles away described it as the heavens on fire. Moments later, the explosion came. A shockwave flattened over 800 square miles of forest, an area larger than major cities today. 80 million trees were knocked down in a perfect butterfly pattern, radiating from a mysterious epicenter. Yet when explorers reached the site years later, they found no crater, no solid evidence of impact, only scorched earth and silence. Theories began almost immediately. Some scientists proposed that a comet, made of mostly ice, had disintegrated in the atmosphere. Others suggested an asteroid, burning up just before striking the ground. The blast itself was estimated to be a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. But the story doesn't stop there. For days after the explosion, strange effects were reported across Europe and Asia. The skies glowed at night, so bright that in London and Berlin, people could read newspapers outdoors at midnight. Seismic vibrations circled the globe. Even weather patterns were altered. And then came the stranger ideas. Some whispered of a massive pocket of natural gas erupting beneath the Earth. Others pointed to Nikola Tesla, who at the time was testing his experimental death ray across the ocean. More fantastical claims linked it to alien spacecraft, a crash that left no trace. What makes the Tunguska event so haunting is not just the destruction, but the absence of answers. Over a century later, despite modern science, no single explanation has been proven beyond doubt. The blast in Siberia remains the largest impact event in recorded human history, yet its cause is still debated. Was it a comet, an asteroid, a natural disaster, or a brush with something not of this world? One thing is certain. On that morning in 1908, the Earth reminded us just how fragile and mysterious our place in the universe truly is.